Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are from Oracle Group and we want to talk about the process of technology forecasting. Let us begin with the definition of technology forecasting. It is a prediction of the future characteristic of useful machine, procedure and technique. Why do we need technology forecasting? First is to improve the quality of decision making, anticipating emerging technological changes, identifying suitable technology by evaluating various alternatives, and lastly, planning for the future technology need. Now, let us talk about the process of the technology forecasting. There are six processes altogether. First, making a specification of forecast for short term, mid term and long term. Short term is the goal that they want to achieve in five years. For instance, a decision to invest a smartphone based on a complete understanding of technology available. Mid term is a company aim medium term of a result of several years to achieve within five to 10 years. For instance, to develop a professional network with contact all level of chosen industry. Long term is more than 10 years. For instance, the first automobile in the late of 19th century were not destructive technology as early automobile. It is expensive luxury item that did not disrupt the market. Step 2. Identify the environmental variable. There are four variables that is technology, social, economic, and political legal. What is technology? Technology is application of scientific knowledge for practical purpose, especially in industry. The factors is R&D expenditure, the number of researcher, lab endowment, progress level of basic research, and knowledge sharing facility. The example is electronic. Social. Social is technology used by group of people and how society is being changed by the technology interaction. Example of the factor is interaction with user, education and learning, social rules, desire for quality of life, and change orientation. The example of social is wiki, blog, social network. Next is economy. Economic is the knowledge of concern with production, consumption, and transfer of wealth. The factor involved here is venture capital financing. And the example is interest rate, taxes, or policy. Political. Political is activity associated with governance of a country or area. The factor will be tax law, intellectual property right, and patents protection. Third step is selecting data sources. There are two data sources involved here, that is statistical and expert opinion. For the statistical, it is a component of data analytic in the context of business intelligence. It involves collecting every data sample which sample can be drawn. Next will be expert opinion. Expert opinion collect opinion of chosen expert in a particular area and arrive at the forecast. This method include forecasting, technological development via intensive consultation with subject matter expert. For the first step, we have forecasting techniques, which we use the two methods, which are exploratory methods and normative methods. Exploratory methods is to predict the state of the technology area in the future by using trend analysis, expert opinion, Delphi technique, and scenario planning. For trend analysis, it used for mathematical and statistical technology to extend time series data in future. For expert opinion, it involves group of high-level experts and managers to forecast. Delphi technique is to get opinion in an uncertain area. And while scenario planning is doing a what-if analysis. For normative method is to determine causes of action to achieve a postulated future state by using cross impact analysis, morphological analysis, series indicators, and dynamic modeling. For cross impact analysis is to determine how relationship between events would impact in future. 
morphological analysis is to explore what all possible solutions to a multi-dimensional problem. For series indicators, to represent performance of market segment. And for dynamic modeling, is doing a stimulation model to imitate a real-life scenario. Next, the fifth step is to use by application, which we integrate forecast results into your plan for the creation of the new venture. For example, from the smartphones, they upgraded to the latest models of phones in terms of performance such as speed, accessibility, and random access memory. And for the last process is to undertake reviews, which is we follow the progress of the forecast by making a comparison between actual and results of forecasts. For example, the making a comparison between the phone models, which is the current and the latest and the new one. If it does not meet the user requirement, they have to redo it again from the step one. As a conclusion, technological forecasting helps managers in improving decision making by providing knowledge of the future changes and provide basis for planning. It depends on the duration, technology nature, the technology characteristics and the probability. Forecasting has gained significance in this knowledge area and it continues to be an important function in technology management of organization. That's all from us and good luck for your assessment.